Gyrolix. Okay, so we have a problem here. Uh, it seems intimidating, uh, but trust me, the solution for this one is very, very easy. Okay, so we have uh, two vertical brine tanks with taps on the same level. Okay, so refer to this figure. So this one, this is the taps. Uh, one is 16 feet deep. Okay, so this tank, this is 16 feet deep. And the other tank is uh, 4 feet deep. So this one on the right side. And their tops and bottoms are connected by the pipes. So this narrow uh, region, this is the pipes. So two pipes, which are uh, 3 inches in diameter. So if the pipe connecting the tops uh, measures 5 feet, so given the top pipe, so the length is uh, 5 feet, Find the weight of brine in the other pipe. So this uh, pipe, okay, so the weight of the brine in this pipe. Uh, when entirely full and also given that the brine weighs 66.8 pound per cubic foot. Okay, first we need to find the length of this uh, pipe simply by using the right triangle. Okay, so the first... Uh, value of side uh, we can have is based on the figure is this one so if this is 5 feet of course this also uh, 5 feet so that is the first uh, value the second value is if this length is 16 and this is 4 so 16 minus 4 is uh, 12 feet okay so again uh, let's uh, check this is 12 plus 4, so total is 16. Okay, so we have now our triangle and we can calculate now for the length. So let's focus uh, on this uh, area only. Okay, so since we are after the uh, volume of this pipe. Okay, so let's calculate now the length. Uh, let's label this as E for the lateral edge or the slant height. And uh, we'll be using, of course, the Pythagorean theorem. So we have uh, C squared equals uh, A squared plus B squared. So the hypotenuse is E. So E squared equals, let's say the A is 5. So 5 squared plus 12 squared. So 5 squared plus 12 squared is 169. So transfer the squared to the right side. So this becomes uh, square root. So, the length of the pipe is uh, square root of 169 or that is equivalent to 13 feet. Okay, this length now is uh, given by 13 feet. Okay, so next is to calculate for the volume of the pipe. Given that the diameter is uh, 3 inches, but before that, uh, we need to convert uh, this inches into feet since the length is in feet. So the ratio of 1 foot is equivalent to 12 inches. Okay, so we need to multiply these 3 inches to the ratio. Okay, so the denominator is inches. This one is inches. Okay, so make sure to check that always. So this cancels out. Which gives us that 3 inches is equivalent to 1 fourth uh, foot. Okay, so this diameter now in terms of uh, foot is uh, 1 fourth. So we can proceed with the volume of the cylinder uh, given this equation so area of base times side and of course the base is circular so this is pi r squared the area but the instead of r uh, we are using the k so take note that this is the uh, radius okay the k okay so let's use this equation to the problem uh, the given is diameter so we need the radius for the formula of course, 1 fourth uh, divided by 2 is 1 eighth. So that is the radius of the pipe. Okay, so let's plug in these values. So we have volume equals pi times 1 eighth squared times E, which is 13 feet. And this will give us the volume of the pipe, which is 13 pi over uh, 64 cubic feet. Okay, so next is the weight of the brine. 
So this pipe has a volume 13 pi over uh, 64 cubic feet. And given to the problem that the brine weighs uh, 66.8 pound per cubic foot. And simply multiply the volume to the rate. Okay, so check the denominator. This is a cubic foot. This is cubic foot. Okay, so of course this cancels out. And that will give us the weight of the brine which is uh, 42.63 pound. Okay, so this is the final answer for this uh, problem. Okay, so see, uh, quite easy. And see you on the next uh, exercise.